I just got back with Caitlin's new wheels and tires. Okay, well, new tires at least. We got some Pirelli Scorpions 285-70-17s. These are Forerunner takeoff wheels, and I really don't know the exact offset on these wheels and if these are going to fit on the Lexus. Four is five. Yeah, so eventually number five is going on the back door. But today we're just going to try and get these mounted up here. I'm not too worried about the rear. I can always increase the height on the air leveling suspension to get a little extra clearance. It's the front where I'm worried. So it's likely going to need a little bit of lift, but we're going to see what we can get away with today for Mother's Day. Oh, surprise. That's the one that's going on there, right? You can get a tire and rim here for less than a hundred bucks. I mean, GX already has pretty poor fuel mileage. So the actually less contact patch with the road is going to reduce your rolling friction, rolling resistance. So this is going to increase MPG and we're saving money on the replacement costs. So it, it's a win across the board as far as I'm concerned. I love how you can do that with a straight face. Yeah. <laughs> no, or... this is for the trailer. <laughs> no, these are mine. Just needed to get that out of the way for the jack. This doesn't work with the truck. <laughs> Not with one block of wood, probably with like four. That flex. Is that right? See how that's not going to catch anything? So there's your safety nut, which I'm actually a little bit concerned about. Oh. Do you notice a difference in the shoulder taper on these? Hmm. This has a square taper. This is what they call, like I think, an acorn. 60 degree maybe taper. Most aftermarket wheels are gonna use something like this, but you're not supposed to use this on this type. So unless you actually change to an aftermarket wheel where this is acceptable. Thanks kid. That's my mother's day present. She got so sick of hearing me talk about <laughs> shoulder tapers on lug nuts. That's exactly right. She just threw up. Just broke my bit adapter. I'm gonna try and use it again. <laughs> I just keep breaking it. <laughs> I got dog is not happy. It's just stuck on there? Yes. I've never had one stick like that. I've always usually just kicked it once and it would come up. There you go. Do you want to get a look at how bad this is in here now? You can see there's just road grime surface level stuff on here, but you see like that's going to have to get redone here, starting to flake on the outside. Up here, even in the cup, the paint starting to go in here on the frame. I mean, this outer caliper rust is not, I'm not worried about it until the piston seizes. That whole like radiator core support showing surface rust. Look at, look at where it was corroding till it gets stuck. What do you think? I look great. So does your car. There, that feels like it's about right. <laughs> I think we can get it working to be street drivable, but any amount of suspension travel is gonna start buzzing the rear plastic. All right, well, come out and see me later. I'm gonna keep this thing going. Okay, thank All you. Right. Careful. There's this pinch weld in there that runs through this hub. I mean, I can try and suck it in. Oh. If you throw rocks, make sure you throw it at a tree or something, not at a house, not at a car. Oh. So I'll zip a screw in there, but that's as tight as it's gonna get. 
We're just gonna cruise down to the water, guys. Maybe Haley wanna come too. I'm sure she will. Well, the wheels and tires are on, and I'd say it's, it's passable for now. Definitely need to either get some lift on the vehicle or do some more serious trimming. So either, either, or both of those may be occurring in future videos. So if you're interested in seeing that process, make sure you hit the subscribe button. But otherwise, thank you for joining us today. See you later. Yeah, I like rubber ducks. Hey, maybe we'll, we will get a bath. No, what bird does at my birthday? Okay.